in the last exercise, we were using point in curve. And that was over here. This time, we're going to use point in curves. So notice that if I only select, I only select one curve, it will do the same as the last component. But if we select, if we select many curves, many curves, press enter, notice the output. And that's because we do have to select all these points. All these points. Press enter. And there you go. It's smart enough to know which points are in each one of these curves. So one more time, the relationship is zero outside, one on top of the curve, and two is equal to the points being inside the curves. So we created the same definition as with the point in curves, but this time we are using multiple curves. So if I select all these three points and move them, let's say inside here, that component will be aware of those points. One more time. Point in curves is right here. 